Hello everybody, welcome to the first round of 16 match, the official live cast. We've got Yatsik with his Orcs up against Spartacus with his Lizardmen. And Yatsik receiving, I assume he won the toss. I can tell you a little bit about them. Um, Yatsik is Polish, qualified via the Season 4 official playoffs. Spartacus is French and qualified through the Season 5 official playoffs. So we've got two um, ladder slash playoffs qualifiers. We've got four guard for the Orcs, plus the Troll. Glorious. Not a big no, fan I of a tackler, honestly, in this moment, but not terrible. And a and leader, I will so he defend. gets everything. I will defend. Ah, thank you very much, Sandbo. Welcome to Team Fantastic. And, uh... It's up against a very interesting lizard build. I'm not a fan of this lizard man build, but I think Spartacus has used it excellently. However, he is down the skill in this match. So normally, I I rate lizards as a huge a huge favourite in this matchup. But he is down a skill, and he's only got three block instead of six block. So um, maybe this will be close to the normal for lizards versus orcs, but. He still, should still be a solid favourite, I'd imagine. What's up with the Crocs? He looks weird, I don't know. Maybe it's because he's got the green... The green scales? Both solid bit of, um... Customisation from both sides. The Orcs have got the, uh... Necro Halloween stuff there. All World Alliance. Cheerleaders. Spartacus didn't bother. <laughs> so three re-rolls for the Orcs. You know, they are going to have to make blockless blocks here. There's no getting away from that. They probably want to try and blitz with the Troll as well for Mighty Bow. Because they really need, they, if they chip Saurus, they really, I think they need to chip Saurus to win this game, right? This, I think this is a hard game for the Orcs, and I think they've got to get lucky to win. And that means making removals. And making removals means hitting with Mighty Blow. Oh, he hasn't got anybody next to the troll right now. <laughs> Which is a slight issue with that plan. <laughs> and he moved it back and then rolled a one. He does not get his blitz. Unlucky. There was definitely an orc game and an orc team in the group stage that had two goblins, um, but didn't make it to the playoffs. No, not the playoffs, you know, the final phase. In retrospect, I picked a bad time to try and eat cheese crackers. <laughs> I'm trying to talk. <laughs> Not the best idea. <laughs> I mean, Dio, I wouldn't accept it. 
but I'm sure most people would. People tend not to mind. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be up to the TO, wouldn't it? It would be up to the TO. Like somebody has Pokemon teams, don't they? Like I wouldn't I wouldn't want that. I wouldn't want anything that's like kinda of stupid. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'll do the Reno's the same. Yeah, and and that's the other point of view, right, Torek? Yeah, as long as you can, as long as you can tell them apart, it's fair enough, isn't it? Both of them have got um, things. Yeah. Yeah, the dwarves. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's got lucky. In instant apple. I mean, instant apple there, right? That was incredible, wasn't it? Instant badly hurt on turn two. Oh, there's a one in nine. He actually had to make that block before the uh, block before the block with block, didn't he? I had to make this one. I mean, I don't think you think about this for a second. <laughs> Honestly, I don't. Oh my god, I don't think you think about that for a second. I'm re rolling that all day, every day, instantly. It's getting me another hit. It's getting all of his Saurus down and his Crocs out. Complete dominance. Taking the boat down there, you know, maybe lets him get away back into it. Don't like not re rolling that. What are you going to use re rolls for? The rest of the half right block is blocked. So, yes, the ball's safe. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, rush, rush. So, even if you'd made a dodge, it's still safe. But, like, the ball is safe, but the momentum, right? You know? That could have been a pow and a stun. And this could have been a pow as well. And then it's just, he's completely frozen out. So. I did like the reroll there. I mean, it's just funny, right? I, I played somebody who had like a third party undead once. And the miniatures were probably good miniatures, right? They were probably beautifully sculpted and everything, but I couldn't tell what anything was. <laughs> so I hated that. And if somebody was playing with, you know, lizard men with Pokemon and they had like six, six Charmanders and a, and a Waylord <laughs> and four Pikachus, at least I'd be able to tell what was what, wouldn't I? So who knows? I generally quite like it to be Blood Bowl that I was playing though, and not Space Marines. I played, I played Jock McGrowdy with Space, and he had Space Marines. And... <laughs> it's a bit rubbish. All right, so he went for the he went for the one day on the ball. Honestly, I think you go for the 2D, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nurse Rush. If you're going for that, stick in all your rerolls and go for the uh, 2D. Because you've basically lost the drive with a, with a removed Crocs. I mean, you haven't lost the drive because you're, cause you're lizard men still, but that's a big removal to eat. So I wouldn't mind just putting in all your rerolls to sack the ball there. And you know, move this guy around to the edge, right to there, and then this guy around. Like you could have had really a real good ball sack, but instead, like it failing, 
It's pretty bad, isn't it? Yep. That's the problem. That's the problem. So, like, he ha he got the risk without as much of the payoff, right, by just making it a one day. I mean, he, look, he failed the one in nine anyway. It's, you know, it's bad luck. But I think he had to go. If he, if, he, if he was going for that, I think I feel like he had to go all out for it. Um, yeah. Pika squid. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> More cats in 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 two turns than my entire tournament. Yep. <laughs> yep. I mean the best one was was Andre versus Bright, wasn't it? He made more cars in zero turns than I had made in my entire tournament. <laughs> By the time he started turn one, he'd made two cars. <laughs> oh dear. Flip me. Or Jake BP, running like on and I mean that's how you win the world championship. But at the end of the day, you know, there's a good chance who, whoever wins is the person who rolls the best. Yeah. I mean, he can still win the fight. He can actually still win this drive, right? He can win this drive. The problem is he's lost all momentum, so he's got to like kind of screen, play conservatively hope that there's a bad turn. The problem is he's, he hasn't got block, right? So now he's getting 75% knockdown every turn. Might get a Saurus surfed here if he's not careful. I mean, at least sidelined and in a world of hurt. Things are going bad for him right now. Very bad. Very bad. Yeah, he's got a screen and hope everything like survives it's got to hope for failed not like failed blocks and stuff like failed knockdowns at least oh 1d skull eats it Yeah, he, he, was, he was actually smart with this because he could have surfed this right. He could have because he can chain. He can chain the troll forward here, but he can only push him on the sideline. It can't. He can't really stick the surf as well. But I mean, he could he could block one and blitz the other. Also, he might just want to block this way with a blitzer and then. Uh, I don't think I don't think he could realistically get the serve. TBH. I don't think it was realistic. If they if these if these had been two apart, he would have definitely got served. I don't think it was realistic to to surf. This 1D isn't great, is it? Because it pushes him into there. So, you know, if the troll goes stupid here and he doesn't punch, then he's got three Sora standing. Like, it's not terrible, right? He, need, he needs to get a turn where he gets a few Sora standing. And then can do something. But, that Sora is down. I would have maybe tried a bit harder to, you know, push the Saurus out rather than in and try and get like some kind of Saurus Surf going on. At least threaten the Saurus Surf so he's got to keep them down. If he keeps them down, then he's not going to get find a way back into the drive, is he? 
so I'd be I would have I would have tried to have sidelined the uh, Saurus a bit. Did you not use the the Crocs? It got it got badly hurt instantly, and he appled it. So that's why he's got no apple. Uh, I mean, at least the apple worked. Yeah, now he's got nine players. I mean, there's a real strong argument for not re-rolling anything, at least for the rest of the half. And then using your two re-rolls on the one-turn attempt. And then maybe you can still win this game, right? He's probably already made the decision that he's not going to re-roll anything for this half. Well, I mean, this, this drive. Not the half, obviously. Wow. He stood these guys up. And, th and that's why I didn't like, you know, pushing them back to the centre. Because now it's that much harder to surf them, right? If they were all close at the sideline. Yeah, it would have made protecting the ball a little bit trickier. But I'd want to threaten the surfs harder. So that he'd be more scared to stand them up. Doesn't get him. 3D is nice, though, isn't it? But doesn't get him. I like the I like the piling in the skinks to make it 3D. Keeping him on two is good as well. Not really possible to serve here. Is technically possible, isn't it? But takes so many hits. And now it's just an awful lot of blockers blocks. We kind of have to work. And this is a, itself is a little bit dangerous, isn't it? I guess he's got so much guard, it's not too bad. Hello, Santa from Exeter. Just take the power here, obviously you're not going to try and get fancy with surfs. That's the problem. Like, I would have, I would have tried to have got you know the the saurus down here, and like the ball back or whatever, and then tried to swing around so that the ball was my team was here, and the saurus were here. Whereas he he's got the saurus there and he's just jammed up against the sideline, isn't he? I think I think I think this I think the power was because he's got himself in a, it's not a pickle but like it, the fact that it there, it's just too far it was just too far away right if if he was closer by all means go for the serve that just chances are he just makes another block and doesn't even get it off the next block and stuff he hasn't got anybody to foul with has he yeah this guy could I guess yeah, now he's got to get the ball out in the middle here. Oh, one D's the skink before the troll two D. Is he not going to block with a troll? He can't really block with the uh, blitzer. Yeah, he blocks with a lineman there. It's a beautiful power. Absolutely beautiful power. Beautiful cores. Yeah, he probably should have tried to set up a foul, right? He's got 12 players. Yeah, it doesn't even activate the troll. Probably should have just tried to bang him out. <laughs> like, you know, you still got to get lucky, right? The apple's been used. He's got a reserve. You're facing a full lizard man team. 
in the second half and he's got a one turn chance with two rerolls. So you're still not in a great spot here with the Orcs, even though this has like gone like a dream. This half has gone like a dream and you're still not in a great spot. Which is kind of crazy, isn't it? Is he going to base the ball or is he going to screen? Base the ball. That's a fantastic uh, trade though, isn't it? Rookie, rookie line off for guard, Soros, that's a great trade. Yeah, honestly, it's bad because there's, uh, has impressed me the most, I guess, in this tournament. Probably because I um, know what to expect from, the, from most of the others. Yeah, I don't know where else I could have put it, but yeah. I don't remember, I'm not like... I wasn't being facetious when I said that. I didn't really, you know, didn't really know what else I could have done. Does get the push. Which is all he needed. I mean, it's been all lizards since the start. All lizards? No, it's been all orcs since the start. I don't know why I just said completely the wrong word. To uh, Crocs, Kaz, Apple used instantly. And it's not as comfortable now. This is a bit of a problem, isn't it? He's kind of relying on the troll to seal this off. Which is never good to rely on the troll. But I think he's probably just got to jam everything in and hope for the best. Classic blood bowling. Yeah, it was really good. That really got him some breathing room on offense. And he's got the troll right. Like the troll, I, the 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 one thing that I like about the troll for orcs is. You know, having the troll versus lizard men. Now you get the two dice people pretty reliably, and you've got mighty bulls so you can get lucky. So that that is why I took the troll in Super League because I thought if anyone takes lizards, it's the only you know you just need it to to be in with a shot against them really. And while the troll hasn't been great this half, it wasted a blitz and it was like a big one that got the cast. Um, you know, now it's just a big weak link, isn't it? You know, if this was a lineman, you could put in a guard there and a guard there, and then you could two dice it with a lineman. But now with a troll, you could put in players and he could go stupid, and then all of a sudden they can knock him over. Oh, wow, he's rushing. Okay, this looks way too spicy. Way too spicy here. I feel like caging here was better. Rather than making like, what, four GFI, four rushes? Three rushes, hmm. Three rushes. Not a big fan of three rushes. But you know, the final formation is probably stronger than like putting it here and trying to punch this guy, but Oh. Oh wow. Things can happen here for Spartacus if you sheet a play gauge. 
things can happen. Will things happen? We'll find out. It, it may do, yes. Yes, Big Chi Chi. Yep. I think I'd try it because nothing else you do is going to work, right? That's, that's the thing here. Yeah, this is open to roll a five or a six to get it started. A five or a six into another five or a six. But if it works, that's pretty incredible, isn't it? A wizard in Blood Bowl 3 not able to do it. It's similar, yeah. It, it's got the fireball. There's, the fireball's the same, but instead of a lightning bolt, it turns a player into a frog. Um, which is quite good. I think he's thinking about it and thinking about is he going to use rerolls as well. He only gets the push. So he did go for the chain player. But he only got the push. He can still go for it. But not really right. Now it's an uphill. And he's got to get double push on the uphill. So anyway. But yeah, that was the play anyway. You know, If he gets the pow here, then he can one dice this guy. And if he gets the pal, <laughs> then he's uh, blitzing on two dice as long as he, uh, you know, cancels this with a dodge. So it took a lot, but it was possible. Gratuitous end zone check, ODL check, we're fine. So he blitzed with him. Moved him in there. And that gives him this 1D. Might give him the dodge off here to make it 2D. Because Yatsik does have to stall another turn, doesn't he? And that's a big KO. I think you don't apple this right because you've got two chances to get him back. I can see why he's thinking it, but it's too, it's just too bad. It's literally too bad. I just can't do it. And yeah, now suddenly this guy's at it. Because he's refused the block with it, troll has kind of cost him, right? Yeah, he could have gone stupid, but he could have also banged out a Saurus. And now, either he's got to hit with a troll to get these two guys around here. He's probably just got to do that. Or I guess he can blitz this guy and come around. Probably, yeah, 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 probably. Ooh, hate that. Could have blitzed him from there, couldn't he? And then, and then, and then push him, push him out that way. Rather than still in the danger zone. Yeah, it would have been a big waste. Yeah, I, th I agree. But I can understand wanting to, right? Because it sucks. If he doesn't come back, and you don't want to use it on a, re on a you know, obviously next half if there's a cas, it doesn't do anything. So it's now you're only saving it for a KO in the second half. Oh, you go stupid the troll man, the flipping troll. Flipping troll. He finally activates it and it goes stupid. But you know, if he'd activated it the previous three turns, 
maybe it doesn't go stupid and maybe it causes a Saurus, right? Like, that's the problem. So, by, like, being more conservative with it, he's actually made it more critical, right? Because, yeah, it's... Oh, yeah, I'm putting a K on the first part of the second half is incredible. But, like, what I mean is that's not super that's not super likely is it that's the that's the thing it's not super likely that you're going to take a k on the first few turns of the second half yep i know you can one d the ball right with skinks he's got this open so he can one d the ball with a few three pluses i wouldn't say a lot one, two, three, four, four three pluses. That's not crazy at all. He's not doing it at all. And that's lovely, isn't it? That is a lovely stun. That is an incredible stun for him. Really nice, really nice move in that, isn't it? Maybe you don't, Cosmigo. Maybe you have a 50% chance. <laughs> Maybe you have a 50% chance. Because at the moment, this is like a blockless uphill. Right? Which isn't great. Oh, in fact, that's worse than uh, that's worse than just four plus dodge. It's literally just worse than four plus. It's a four plus dodge. I don't even think there's anything better, is there? I don't think there's anything better than just a four plus dodge. So he's only seventy five percent of score. And if he fails, he's got the scoring threat. The lizards might score themselves. You don't even really have a safe move you can do first. You only got one reroll, so it's not like you can rush to tag the skin. Ah, okay. Well, this was good, wasn't it? This was good. Well, I'm not sure it was good. Oh, yeah, it was good because if he pushed it, he could just block with the ball, couldn't he? Yeah, okay, I guess some three pluses were better then, weren't they? So that was basically... He traded one four plus for two three pluses, didn't he? Wait, two three pluses is 74%. <laughs> so the dodge would have just been better. I guess he did get the kill skinks, though. And if he'd rolled a push in the first one, he could have then just blocked with the ball carrier, which is much better than dodging. So, yeah... Yeah, yeah, that was probably the best reason. Probably the best solve. Well done, Yatsik. And he did kill the skink. So, the lizards are down to 10 men for this one turn attempt. Funnily enough, the KO does fail to come back. <laughs> now, Spartacus with 542 in his time bank should produce a better one turn attempt than the amazing turn 16 one that he scored that uh, it was incredible in the context of the match. Out of time bank, out of re-rolls, absolute desperation, um, wasn't quite optimised. So, you know, he's obviously got it in him to uh, score this one turn. Uh, I can, well, I, do you know what? I'll give you a link to everything here. There is a very good... Um, there's a bunch of things. There's two spreadsheets that I've made, which are like, you know, just about the casts. And then there's one from Breaky T, which is the old 20, that's the BB3WC2024 all in one. Um, that all in one's got everything. Whereas the, my ones are just like, you know, games. Wise, like casts wise. Welcome. 
Um, I think he was defending against the riot. And not bothered about the one turn. But he should have been worried about the one turn, I think. It is actually really bad, isn't it? Because if he pows, he can just punch the... Um, he can start punching this guy to punch it forward. So, yeah, this is... Uh, he's got a bit of... Like extra chances and stuff. In fact, he can use the crocs, right? He, he, what he could do is he could use the, the whole method and uh, use the crocs. Uh, use the crocs. Use the troll. Like hit the troll f forward is also an option here. So then the first one can definitely be a pal, and then he'll be in the hole. So that that he's got a lot of options here. This is pretty good. If he gets, the, if, he, if he even if he gets the power, he's still got this guy, and he can. Uh, so he probably does this dodge first. Does he do that dodge first? He might do that dodge first with the skink to there. Yeah, he, he probably does this dodge first with the skink. Okay, he's got on the ball to catch it. To let all for the drive doesn't matter. In fact, when well, might you can start, you can stab the <laughs> troll if it goes all goes wrong. So he does get the push. I still think he could have started with this dodge, couldn't he? Could he? No, no, because he doesn't need it if he gets the power. I mean, if he gets the push, he doesn't need it. So. But now he gets three dices, doesn't he? Because he's put the guards in the right place. What about getting him the ball? It's probably never going to be better than one tackle zone. So we should probably move this out of the way and do it all now. I don't know. This is where he wants to push it, isn't it? So he can just 3 plus. Don't think he had the rush. Fails the catch. Oh my goodness, he gets to re-roll the catch here. Doesn't get it. I've got a feeling he didn't have to rush with a the, with the skink there. He could have moved through the skink out of the way somewhere. Um, but yeah. It was a... Obviously a non-existent. And look, there we go. <laughs> the big and fails. The double KO roll. And Yatsik probably thinking to himself, I knew I should have appled that guard, big and. Yeah, to be fair, I guess if you're Yatsik, you're taking the 25% fail of your big for the 25% fail of the one turn. That The one turn, was it wasn't nailed on, but it was pretty high odds. Pretty high odds after he, you know, after he got the ball to him. It was just two pushes and then one dodge and two rushes. It was a really easy one turn. So, yeah. He got away. I know, I know what he meant. I know, obviously, it only works. I mean, that's the thing. Like that's that's the thing. Right? Like that's the thing with the apple. You know, you wouldn't apple it on a fifty. You would. You would probably apple it on a fifty percent, and you don't apple it on a seventy-five. But at the end of the day, it still works, doesn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah, Rolex. I don't think it was an easy decision. I really don't think it was an easy decision whether to lap all that or not. Like your snap decision is is never is never apple it, right? That is your kind of obvious snap decision is don't even think of appling this. I get it back seventy five percent of the time. But sometimes you don't score and it's only a fifty percent. So it's in fact it was more like it was more like a sixty percent to get it back, right? It was more like a sixty percent or a sixty-five percent to get it back, something like that. When you think about you can because you can just break it down between the chance of you scoring and it being a fifty or a seventy-five, right? So it was something like sixty-eight percent. It's not about bad feelings. It's about it was he's sixty-eight percent to cut back, right? Say so sixty-nine percent. He's sixty-nine percent to get back on his own. Um. And then you've got like what happens in the first, what happens in the second half, right? Like if you if you do take a a big and KO'd early, then it's great. But if you take you can't use it on Kaz in the second half because it don't matter. So like you you've you know you've only got KOs to use it in the second half, and you probably got to use it on like an orc lineman to get KO'd. And is the chance of an orc lineman being KO'd? Does that make up for the the 31% chance of not getting this guy back and stuff? Like, it's interesting. It's not about feelings, I wasn't I'm talking about feelings. Like, I mean, if this had been a KO'd troll, you're loving it. It's the chances of it being a KO, isn't it? And an early KO. Until we have some giant maths nerd work everything out, we'll never know. And really all you can do is uh, base it on feelings. Yeah. Uh, yeah, ODL check is passed. No, uh, yeah, uh, Spartacus won't go for the win. He's got 10 players. He's 1 0 down. Just draw. It's not 75% though, it's more like 69%, right? Because there's a chance you don't score. So... It might not even have been that high. But Kazing doesn't matter, Cosmigo, right? Kazing doesn't matter. This is the thing, in the second half you can't use it on the Kaz. In the second half, you can only use it on KOs. Now, it is great using it on KOs in the second half, but you've just got limited opportunities to use it in the second half. That, that's, what, that's what you're waiting against, right? The chance of them KOing things. And nobody knows. Nobody knows if it's a good decision or not. You know, I'm not saying it's a good decision to apple it or not. I'm, I'm not saying you're wrong for thinking it's a, it's a bad apple. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not using the, the fact that it, this time it would have been right. To say that it's right to do it, it's just you just don't know. You, it's 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 not that it's not as cut and dried. I don't think as like your your snap decision. I think most people's snap decision would be it's stupid to app all this. I get it back seventy five percent of the time anyway. I think that's most people's snap decision would be an app over here is stupid. But I definitely don't think it's stupid. I think there's a lot more to go into it. Did he not, Cosmigo? Did, did, did you forgotten he was playing against lizard men? <laughs> there was he was always gonna Spartacus was always gonna make him roll some dice. You you're never a hundred percent score, right? You're never a hundred percent score on your own drive. I mean, well, you are sometimes, but. <laughs> In those times, the game's probably going that well that you don't apple it, right? <laughs> Thanks, that dial. 
I mean, winning a tournament doesn't mean much, right? At the end of the day. Um, it's a few games. There's a lot of dice involved. It's probably going to be a good player who's had pretty good dice is whoever wins, right? Whoever wins is probably a good player who's had good dice. Anybody left in it could win. And uh, odds odds are better for the better players with the better builds. But absolutely anybody left in this can still win the tournament. And it might be Diomed with a 10% chance. Or it might be, you know... I don't want to insult anybody. Me with a 3% chance. But whatever it is, um, whoever wins it doesn't... I mean, any difference, does it? So very early push. Maybe he is going for the win. I didn't expect that Spartacus would go for the win at all here. He's got 10 players. He's only got two re-rolls. I mean, I guess he's 50-50 for this guy to stay out. But it seems really risky. <laughs> as long as he's not one of those console scrolls. Yes, Benbo, yeah. Like, Truk. Truk really, really, really got unlucky with this. <laughs> Truk and Gogo -Go Bay got super unlucky. They got super unlucky. They won their group and had to play me and Devo. Guaranteed almost. Certainly for certainly Gorgo Bear was almost guaranteed he had to beat me and Davo to get to the round of uh to get to the top eight. I mean he could just go for the score here, right? He could just double rush score. The problem is it might just eat both rerolls. So it's turn eleven. Like this is a real strong push. Like to the point where I don't think he'll be able to stall it out. Maybe you can try and get back or something. Oh, PS5, yeah. Oh, I forgot that it's PS5s now. It's been so long since I've uh, played in the console. I might get an Xbox for uh, GTA 6. Buy an Xbox again. They've got like, it's not the Xbox One anymore, is it? It's like an Xbox X or something. Oh, Swart. PS4, yeah, my, my Xbox One. I played, I played, uh, what's it called on it? Um, it's console exclusive for like a year or two, punter. It's going to come out on console for like a year or two before it comes out on PC. So, um, I'm going to buy a console so that I can have GTA for a year. <laughs> Which I think is quite reasonable. Oh, lack of block. Lack of block. Spartacus's team build. Getting him a knockdown that he wouldn't have got if he'd taken a block. <laughs> but costing him a reroll. And honestly, the Orcs can just base him, right? The Orcs can just base the Croxigo, base the guard. Base both the guards and the tackle and the Crocs. Just keep basing him, right? And if they don't get removed... He's got to keep hitting them with blockless blocks, and it's it's tough.
I did love GTA 5, yeah, I played it, I played that a lot. I played it a lot and my, all my buddies got it and then, you know, they didn't really play it and I was very sad. <laughs> I was very sad how little they played it. Um, whereas now, I can buy an Xbox and stream it, can't I, when it comes out. Glorious. It's the pal. You can chain out the block one. <laughs> oh no, he's chaining him into the troll. Oh, lovely. Lovely chains into the troll hit. Beautiful. Yeah, it's really sad. It's really sad that title. It's it's so that I I hate consoles. I think they're trash. I think they're absolute trash. Complete waste of money. Terrible. I think they're completely terrible. No offense to anybody one that's got one, but like you know. I used to be all over consoles, right, all my life, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, Xbox 360, and uh, Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One in the end. I, I, I didn't even get the Xbox One until much later, um, but, you know, N64, all that stuff. I was all about consoles, but then now that I've got a PC, it just seems ridiculous to get one now, like they're just worse. And they, cost a lot. Seems rubbish. <laughs> but, um, yeah, fair enough, Caramel. Uh, sorry, good hammer. Fair enough, good hammer. Yeah, I wasn't used to a PC. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, so that's the thing, Caroline. I was always, I was always, I was always console, and I was always like playing on the couch. And then I got a PC for Blood Bowl Two, funnily enough. And then, and then as soon as I got a PC, I was like, well, I can't go back to console, can I? <laughs> you know. But now I might have to. Now I might have to, just because it's GTA. Now I might have to get a PC, uh, I might have to get an Xbox or yeah. GTA 6. It's like modern day Vice City. No, it's like it's a, it's it's exclusive gold stacker. It's exclusive for about a year or more. It's exclusive to consoles. Yeah, it looks incredible. <laughs> it looks absolutely incredible. I thought he was going to make a cage here, right? So now he's moved this one back here. He must just be running back. Okay. Well, this is a little bit weird, isn't it? I don't want to say risky. It's just weird that he moved so far up so quickly and now he's come back. Maybe it was all calculated. It doesn't really seem that he's got that much out of it, but maybe, maybe he thought like it would break down if he just tried to fight, so he, he'd try and do this kind of reverse switch, right? It's, I don't know. Thing is, TC Mom 08, 
it's a year of your life, isn't it? I'm old, mate. I'm old. I'm 44. <laughs> I don't want to wait a year of my life not playing GTA for the cost of some money. I might die. Like, I literally could die in that year. <laughs> and... It's the point, like, it's just some money. It's just some money. So there you go. Damn right I'm going to spend some money to have my favourite game for an entire year. £500 is about like three nights out these days, isn't it? <laughs> you know. Five bellicores. <laughs> Thanks, TC, man. Lovely fella. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Even if it's only 50 hours, like, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Like a movie. How much does a movie cost these days at the cinema? Like, it's insanely expensive, isn't it? Everything's so insanely expensive that, like, yeah, I'll fucking have my favourite game for an entire year. Thank you very much. It's just not worth giving that up. Well, it happens, Magic Art, doesn't it? It happens. Happens. One of my friends from school died when he was about like 38 or something from a heart attack. Happens, doesn't it? Seventy quid, there you go. Cinema seventy quid. So you could go to the cinema seven times or you could f or you could play your favourite game for an entire year. Absolute no brainer. For me. Oh man, that's brutal punter. That is brutal. Happened to my my dad's my dad's best friend died when he was nineteen on a motorbike accident. And uh Do you know what the weirdest thing was? He phoned him up and he said, Can I speak to Johnny? And his dad answered the phone and says, No, you can you'll never be able to speak to him again. Like what a weird <laughs> what a weird way to answer. <laughs> Oh god, a PS5 Pro's 900 quid? Oh god, oh, yeah. okay, I'm less enthused about spending 900 pound. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I'm less enthused about spending 900 pound. Oh, Dub Skulls. But is it critical? That's what. Yatsuk will be trying to work out, frantically trying to work out if he can exploit this. The answer's like probably not, right? Because he's got orcs. Maybe. Maybe though, yeah, okay. I see I see a thing he can do. I see a thing he can do. We'll see. No, no, he can he can get dice in the ball. But we'll see. We'll see if he sees it. It's not easy. It's not easy but it's doable. I mean maybe there's an easier way than what I'm seeing, but I'm seeing a not easy but quite good way. Well that's gone. <laughs> errata, errata. But there might be another way anyway. That was just the way that I saw.
No, no, I was going to chain out the big one, so you could have just 2 would him. I mean, you'd have to roll a pow. You'd have to roll a pow to, to have got him clear, but powing to get a free big one would have been pretty good, wouldn't it? Could have, like, could have chained him to here and then chained him to here and then... Two, two. Yeah, no armor breaks this half. Exactly right. This is this is probably what he was thinking about when he thought about that apple to the, uh, on the black orc. You know, he's not that likely to take remove to take a KO in the second half, and certainly not an early KO. Yeah, it's funny in Evan Dorco, it's it's funny. Yeah, I might have to get I might have to get a PS5 Pro rather than I'd I'd rather get an Xbox. It, it, are Xbox gonna have like a super Xbox? <laughs> I'd rather get an Xbox, to be honest. Because I'm used to the Xbox controller. I switched. I switched on the Xbox. You know, when the Xbox got small controllers and Halo 2 came out, that's when I switched away from PlayStation. There's Pal there. He hasn't locked down the sideline, which seems a huge mistake right now. And this feels like a big mistake, right? Like he's smashed, he's obliterated the center. So if you do that, you've got to lock down the sideline. I think this is a mistake. I think this blitzer should have come up here. But maybe not, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, it's turn 14. I, I really liked, I really like locking down the sideline there. Yeah, like, it, 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 if this was trap space, well, he's not taking it. He's not taking it. I mean, that's the thing about, you know, Dio and his trap space thing. Like, it's got to look like a trap to be a trap, hasn't it? But that just looks like it's a, a pretty strong way to score a touchdown. Not great. Not great. Probably have to score early if he did it, but... Problem now is if he re-centers, he might not score at all. If he doesn't score at all, he's going to be one game down on the verge of going out. And that dub skull that he ate, if he'd had if he'd had block on this tackler, then um he wouldn't have used his reroll early, and he would have rerolled that, could have rerolled that ball, uh, that dub skull, and then wouldn't have been in such a pickle this turn. So, you know that the downsides of his build are there. Uh, I did the start, Punter. Yeah, I did the start. He's um. He's, yeah, he's one, he's one skill down, and he's got only got three blocks. So it's the, the guards aren't terrible. Oh, one in nine. Now he can definitely chain this guy out. Well, not definitely. But let's chain this guy out. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, rush from me. Still not a great, he's managed, still hasn't really got a great hit on the ball, has he? Yeah, I, I like going for the early score. But, you know, we'll never know if it was the right play or not.
Yeah, the problem with this is it's it's five to get there, so we'd have to rush to hit, and it's only a two D without block, so it's it's not a great hit on the ball. He could run around with this guy to assist and make it a three D, but even that's not great, is it? does pal, he does not change him. Probably wants to like get this guy over, right? More centrals and go either way. Or maybe just this way? He can still cut back here, so... You can knock over all but one skink, right? Th this one could blitz this skink. And then uh, this guy can hit this skink. So he can have not only have one skink standing with a tackle or back. I mean, that's a pretty strong position to be in. And if he'd gone through last turn, you know, he could have been down there with a screen and he would have got swarmed, but he would have had an 8 out of 9 score. Gets the pal. And the removal. Flip me, guys, as his team all dies. I actually liked the thrower there to make that a 3D. Could both down that. Honestly, I quite like both down. Oh, like look how rubbish this looks. Now he gets knocked down and there's two free players, one of which is a skink. Okay, it's a shit skink, but it's still a skink. I think this was much better just take the both down here. Or, you know, bring the blitzer in for the make it a 3D. Now he's got a bit of an escape. A bit of an escape. Yeah, yeah. I really didn't like. Really didn't like that from uh, Yatsik. I really liked either the blitzer or the thrower coming down to make that a three D. You have to make it a three D. Needed a player in here, right? Because he can't go this way at all, can he? Like this block down doesn't really make a lot of difference. He just can't go this way, so he can only go this way. You know? Why do people take shit skinks? Um, because it's, you know, it, it, it helps with a one turn. It's got three plus PA and it's got on the ball. So it, it's better for a one turn and a two turn. So it's, it's, you know, and it's your reserve. So a lot of the time you don't even have to feel it. They are more expensive than the better skinks, but if you've got... It's different in, like, NAF style because it's not costing you anything, right? Because you're just wasting the points if you don't spend them. It's different in progression where you don't want to... You know, you'll get matched up versus a better team or whatever. Yeah, sometimes a free catch, yeah. On the ball is, is pretty great for just catching the ball. I actually like the uh, actually like the croc splits there, just because it gets everything up further. If it works, like you know, plan for success, right? Normally, plan for failure with blood bowl, but when you're in this position, <laughs> I don't hate so much the planning for success. So his plan is to get the ball here and double rush next turn. Can make one rush now. Oh 
honestly, that's that's pretty good, isn't it? That's pretty good. And he had to do this 1D to stop this guy getting chained. This isn't too bad. Really isn't too bad for the wizards here. But look how much harder it would have been if, if this blitzer or this thrower had been over here, right? That was the thing. They're invisible on grass pictures, yeah. The 5 plus for the surf. It's not great, is it? But it might be your best way of stopping the touchdown, yeah. You hate to see it, but if it's all you can do, it's all you can do. Yeah, you can, you can, uh, I mean, he didn't centre it, did he? He should have centred this. But he can, um, he can rush, blitz, and then, yeah, he's basing with tackle. Rerolls. Still, he's still got three rerolls. Problem is, it's hard to get anything else out of this, isn't it, to support him. He really did quite overcommit this side. Not overcommit's harsh, but he committed a lot over this side. So he really did need to balance it a little bit more, I think, than he did. Double rush, so he can try to dodge this guy, maybe. No, he didn't double rush. Now he can clear the sores with the crocs, can't he? the dodge anyway so I, I like the I like the tag here right double rush so that you're here and then um, this guy can can try a four plus off as well there might be something even better But yeah, the crocs blocks off. He shouldn't have allowed the crocs block off here, I don't think. One D the crocs of the blitz are big and dodge. Yeah, maybe that's what he was gonna do, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, then it's a two plus to move the crocs. And then he's got this one. Yeah, okay, maybe maybe that's yeah, maybe that was his plan, yeah. Yeah, Christopher B, yeah, maybe that was his plan. Uh This seems wrong, doesn't it? This seems wrong, yeah. I was just gonna do this one D. I guess the thing is that if he does the crocs hit, he has got Lona, but it's still like it still gives him another chance. No, he hasn't got he hasn't got he hasn't got reroll, so the, probably the one D. No, he had a reroll. Oh, okay. He had a reroll, so it's, it was probably better to just do the crocs block, right? He did have a reroll, so the crocs block was better, right? Because if it fails, he's got a chance of the Lona. Whereas if the if the one D to push fails, he just loses. So the crocs put for a push and then blitz with the was better 
I think. That was pretty, that was pretty, pretty hectic, yeah. He, he made it, he made it double mark then though. He, he pushed, he pushed it, he pushed it into a double mark. He pushed it into a double mark. Oh no, maybe he didn't. Am I being stupid? Yeah, the Crocs couldn't clear both, could he? Yeah, he was trying to cheer up the other night. Yeah, no, in that case, yeah, so no, I was right. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I was being, I was being stupid. There you go. Good night, Christopher B. It's hard, isn't it? You know, well, it's hard, hard stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, if he'd got the pow, you could have chained him off and then he could have hit with the crocs. And then he could have bitter so I just didn't see that guy. Yeah, yeah I didn't see the, the guy in front. Yep. Yep, so no, so he did it perfectly. I was being dumb. Disregard, errata, errata. It's been a long game, this. Two minutes left for both people. Next game starting in two minutes, so I hope there isn't a riot uh, or timeout now, and they just end the turn and don't don't play this. <laughs> but there you go, one one draw. Um, after all that, only just squeak the draw, Spartacus, didn't he? Squeak the draw. Perfect time and just like when I'm kung fu fighting. I kick, end the turn, end the turn, mate, end the turn. You're not scoring a one turn. There we go. Perfect. Thank you, Yatsik. <laughs> so there you go. Game one in this series is a draw. Um, Spartacus escaped one there, I think. I think that was very dodgy for Spartacus. And I think he, he did quite well to get away with a the draw there. Um, you know, but so did Yatsik, right? It's a tough tough racial matchup for Yatsik, so he did well to have the advantage. So there you go. Interesting match, and it will still all be to play for in game two. Thanks for watching, everybody. Well played both. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.